Hi, I'm 5 News meteorologist Bella Grace here with five things you need to know about the weather here in Five Country for the next couple of days. We're looking really nice for our Wednesday, warm and sunny, but a few more showers are going to work their way in overnight tonight into early Thursday morning before clearing out. That rain is going to stick around on and off throughout the end of the week, the work week specifically. Once we get into Friday, we'll have a little bit longer of that rain sticking around into the day before uh, clearing out for the weekend. That's coming with a big cool down for us. So we're warm today and then temperatures are going to drop as we get into the rest of the week. Once we reach the weekend, a dry pattern is going to set up over our heads. We'll have more warm air work its way in, less of these showers to worry about. We'll see a lot of calm weather across five country, and that'll be super nice for the rest of our weekend. Highs today are in the 80s, nice and warm for us. You see those 80s, 82s across most of Northwest Arkansas, maybe an 81 here and there. Rogers is seeing that in Bentonville, but overall still really warm for this time of the year. A beautiful day for us. Lots of sunshine, a few clouds, but still about a 20% chance of seeing some showers out there for this afternoon. A little bit lower in parts of the River Valley, but we're sticking with that 20% chance. Highs even pushing into the upper 80s in the River Valley. You can see 86 in Fort Smith and Greenwood. Heavener's getting that as well, Waldron, but a few of us will stay just below that mid 80 mark. Winds pretty light today. They're shifting around a bit. We'll stick mostly from our south. You can see a few gusts throughout the day pushing towards 15 miles per hour. And then our evening comes along. You can see that line of strong winds trying to push in as showers start to really build up over our heads here in northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley, but a little bit stronger in our more northern counties. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's why we have a level one risk out for our northern counties in uh, northwest Arkansas. Parts of Sequoia County are included in that as well. Most of the risk is going to be saw off over central Oklahoma, but a few of those showers could continue to stay strong, push into parts of five country, and that's why we're keeping a, an eye on it. So rain is going to drift through overnight tonight into Thursday, stick around on and off throughout Thursday, and then build overnight Thursday into Friday. Friday will be another relatively rainy day for us, so we are seeing those percentages staying a little bit higher, but look at the weekend. Tons of dry air is coming in to calm things down for us. If we take a look at this timeline, we are really expecting these showers to push in later on tonight into northwest Arkansas. You can see those stronger, more organized storms sticking off over Oklahoma, but a few of those could move in. You're seeing that over tonight into early, early tomorrow morning. So if you're headed out on your commute tomorrow, you could be seeing a few of these lingering showers. The only threat that we're watching with this system of showers specifically are some gusty winds. Really, all of the other threats are centered over Oklahoma, won't push into five countries. So we're only really worried about those strong gusty winds. A few of those showers will push into the River Valley as well. We'll Continue to see round after round of these rain showers on Thursday morning. Try to clear out over the afternoon, but another round of rain comes in for the evening hours. This is about 7 o'clock. You can see that's more centered over the River Valley rather than northwest Arkansas. We will see a few of those showers in northwest Arkansas, but we're getting a good even split. So if you're not seeing as much of these strong storms tonight, you'll likely see them Thursday night into Friday morning. That's how things are really spreading across the area Thursday at about 10 p.m. We'll see a few lighter showers try to push in, but overall, these aren't huge rainmakers. Between today, tonight's shower system through about Friday by midnight, highest percentage of rain that we're seeing from these rain showers, about an inch in Bentonville, close to an inch in Fayetteville, real light across the River Valley. Those Thursday into Friday night storms are going to be relatively light for us, but that it isn't adding in through the showers that we're seeing throughout the day on Friday. So we will keep a close eye on that relatively low rain fall overall though. That's because we're seeing high pressure over our south warm air trying to push in heat us up for today but the cold air is interacting a bit causing some storms for our overnight hours tonight into tomorrow as that cold air continues to kind of shift closer and closer to five country that'll drop our temperatures for the next couple of days as we start to see those rain showers continue keeping 
sky is nice and cloudy, a little bit more northern air trying to work its way in, but you can see warm air off over the west trying to work its way in for the weekend, and that'll come with a nice weak uh, pattern for us that'll help keep things nice and warm. Overall, it's going to look like a pretty beautiful rest of the week if you can handle a few overnight showers. We are just waiting on that warm air to come in, heat us up, might even hit some 90s this weekend. We have that to look forward to. I'm 5 News meteorologist Bella Grace.